Hello and welcome to Inside Japan. The Japanese calendar has a long history, but instead of going through it all, in this video we will go over the more recent eras of the Japanese calendar. The Gregorian calendar, which is the global standard, is used for many things such as expiration dates. The Japanese era calendar dates are found on many documents. Japanese calendars go by eras. Before modern times, there could be multiple eras during a single reign of an emperor. The rule of one reign, one era name was established in the Meiji era. The names of the eras are referred to as Nengo or Gengo. There are two elements that identify an era, the Nengo and the number that counts the years of the era. The name of an era is decided by a cabinet. The members of this cabinet are appointed by the prime minister and have to follow a set of rules when selecting a new name. The rules are that they have to choose a name that goes with the ideals of Japan. It has to have two kanjis. It needs to be easy to read and write. It was not used by a previous era or an emperor. And it is not in common use. There have been five names under this system. The Meiji era lasted from 1868 to 1912. The Taisho era lasted from 1912 to 1926. The Showa era lasted from 1926 to 1989. The Heisei era lasted from 1989 to 2019. The new era that started in 2019 is under the name Reiwa. Eras currently start from the beginning of an emperor's reign and finishes when the emperor's reign ends. The years and eras now start from an emperor's ascension to the throne to the end of the Gregorian calendar. For example, the first year of Reiwa starts from May 1st, 2019 and ends on December 31st, 2019. This is known as Reiwa 1. Reiwa 2 starts on January 1st, 2020 and ends on December 31st, 2020. It is good to know this information when living in Japan because official Japanese documents use the Japanese calendar. Here is one last fact before we end this video. Since the one reign, one era name was implemented, once an emperor abdicates, he will take on the name of the era of which he ruled. For example, the emperor who ruled during the Showa era was given the name of Hirohito at birth. But after his rule ended, he is now referred to as Emperor Showa. We hope you enjoyed this video and please feel free to join us again. This has been Inside Japan and thanks for watching.